Hi there, this is Patrick Belton of InsureTech Fintech Revolution.com. In this short brief, I just want to discuss some of the concepts that circulate around the practicing the discipline of economic geography theory and innovation theory. So we're going to touch a little bit upon why does geography matter in the location of your innovation center and efforts. Um, some concepts including agglomerate economies, uh, how foreign direct investment impacts your decision making, social networks, the explaining a little bit of detail and concepts circulating around the geography of innovation, explaining these things, the relevance of spatial clustering, why innovation benefits the most from location, um, and how a few things about how innovation, the process, can be very humbling, why virginity matters most in terms of your geography location of your innovation center virginity being when you're in the early stages of establishing your innovation center and efforts and discuss a little bit about the concept of knowledge leakage so let's begin our discussion of practicing the discipline of economic geography theory and innovation theory let's start with a couple of things that are obvious to ask what is economic geography theory Economic geography theory considers the role that innovation plays at geographic scales. Leads to the next obvious question. What is innovation theory? Innovation theory looks at how innovation spreads and the factors that lead to its development. Third bullet point. Innovation theory plus geography theory equals the integration of innovation theory with geography theory studies has allowed scholars to explain why certain regions such as California's Silicon Valley are consistently at the forefront of innovation. So let's ask ourselves, why does geography matter? Why is it relevant to innovation? Geographic locations are able to leverage their established advantages through feedback growth and that attracts even more talent and money, which in turn drive the innovation process ahead. So over time, all of this capital and the requisite resources become not only firmly entrenched in that specific geographic locale, but additional locations nearby often benefit as regional connections are made. Thus, uh, a knock-on effect occurs in a much broader geographic region, intensifying the innovation results emanating from that community region. So let's just expand a little bit on uh, the previous slide and just discuss agglomerate economies. So economists and geographers term these innovation community regions and hubs like Silicon Valley, they term these uh, larger regions agglomerate economies. And they can be found in either the economies of the developed world or also in the developing world. And agglomerate economies have been an intense focus of economic development and those contributing to their evolution. Often socioeconomic political policies focus heavy coordinated investment in a limited geographic area as this practice tends to attract innovative based growth. Many countries have seized that opportunity around the world. So let's just keep uh, expanding on each slide and so I want to touch on foreign direct investment. One may also witness in several geographic cluster areas around the globe, that economic results suggest that the foreign, in, foreign direct investment, the FDI, has had a clear and significant impact on the regional innovation for injury, in, industries in those specific regions. Again, like Silicon Valley as, as an example, or Kitchener-Waterloo in Canada. So for, for, give me an example. In Germany, it has been shown that uh, an increase of one standard deviation in distance from investors led to an 8% reduction in investment. This is an astonishing figure, and it must be accounted for 
when choosing the location of your innovation center for your organization. So now let's just briefly touch upon social networks. One continues to witness time and time again just how investment has been shown to have a geographic effect where corporate networks and social connectivity have influenced where and how innovative practices develop. Hence, locating an innovation center in suburbia runs in the face of known wisdom required to succeed in innovation. That's key to remember. Positive choices for locating your innovation center, thus, that tends to determine their location as being tied to urban centers where one finds a collision of diverse cultures, diverse ideas, which in turn foster a positive, creative atmosphere driving innovation ahead for your organization and others in the region. One also tends to find a greater element of risk-taking behavior in such environments. And this, of course, is an, it's a necessary element in successful innovation behavior. So now let's just touch upon explaining a little bit more about the geography of innovation. The geography of innovation refers to the tendency for innovative activities to essentially do four things. First is to cluster spatially. Second is the advantages conferred by co-location with abundant resources, that's key. Number three, the existence of well-developed social networks. Number four, the chance for serendipitous encounters. So the geography of innovation and explaining it, it also infers some of the advantages of innovation clusters spatially. And that basically harkens to five key bullet points. Uh, due to lower research costs, uh, you realize advantages through the localized knowledge spillovers, which makes sense. The, there's an increased probability of recognizing opportunity just because there's more people in an area. That completely makes sense to me. Um, uh, there's a greater capability to more easily solve your problems, which makes sense because you've got social networks, the proximity of larger numbers of people, uh, mind sharing that you can bump into, whether it's an innovation lab or your firm or even at a bar. And the fifth point would be is you better access to uh, external scale and scope economies. So now let's expand on spatial clustering. One of the most striking features of innovation is its pronounced tendency to cluster both spatially and temporally. And if you look throughout human history, it, we've observed that creative activities have often been concentrated in certain places and at certain times. Consider, for instance, Florence under the Medici, Paris in the 1920s, uh, Great Britain during the Industrial Revolution, and Silicon Valley in California in more recent times. For every generation, there is some geographic location that captures the imagination as a locus of these creative activities and all the opportunities that are surrounding them. Alfred Marshall is uh, noted uh, for the geographic clustering of economic activity in his 1890s uh, uh, book called Principle of Economics. And he was citing in that book three primary key reasons. First is an infrastructure of related and supporting industries. The second is the presence of specialized, highly specialized and skilled pools of labor. The third is the presence of knowledge spillovers. So taken together, these three factors are referred to as industrial clusters, ecosystems or innovative milieus. And really when you think about it, the, the geographic concentration it's ubiquitous among many industries. Some of the most extreme cases of industry agglomeration are due to, often due to natural advantages, such as transportation routes and the availability of labor or um, natural resources. But in other cases, historical accidents actually lead to this spatial clustering. And most critically, 
Once these processes have begun, there's a reinforcing tendency due to the increasing returns that emanate out of that spatial clustering. Of all economic activity, innovation itself benefits the most from geographic location. Even after controlling for the geographic distribution of production and, and distribution of services, innovation exhibits a pronounced tendency to cluster spatially. And that is a fundamental key. When you're accounting for the location of establishing your innovation center. Now let's uh, establish a, a definition of innovation. Now, obviously, there's a myriad collection of definitions I can come up with, but for the purposes of this brief, this is how I will define innovation. Innovation is the ability to blend different types of knowledge into something new, into something different, and something that's often unexpected. Like art, innovation is a creative expression. However, unlike art, the measure of innovation is not in the eye of the beholder, but instead it's in acceptance within the marketplace that brings commercial rewards to the innovating entity and also returns to society in terms of economic prosperity and growth. Innovation often begins rather humbly, emanating from scientific discoveries, or suggestions by product users or of your services, or suppliers or low-level staff members, or even the novel idea coming from an entrepreneur. Innovation, bottom line, it's humbling. But geography aids the innovative idea by providing a platform to advance those innovative ideas. That's why geography location of your innovation center and your organization is so relevant to any prospects of your success. Initially, when the commercial potential of your idea is unknown, only a few experts or lead users of that idea may actually appreciate the significance of the specific innovation. Translating this, this, the discovery, though, into a commercial activity and then realizing its economic potential, it entails a process that involves building an appreciation of what is possible among potential investors, customers, and employees, as well as organizing suppliers and customers throughout the value chain. Increasingly, there is a recognition that what matters for place-specific industrial development or development of place-specific development of services and goods, it's not necessarily resources or even sometimes the initial conditions that are present, but more so what's important is the social dynamics that occur within that given place and define a community of common interests around that developing technology or nascent technology or this emerging industry or some emerging solution or solutions that to an identified you know, business problem or opportunity. Virginity is when your geography matters the most. And by virginity, I mean the newness of your innovation center being established. Location matters the most at the earliest stages of the industry life cycle. The, the propensity for innovative activities to spatially cluster is subject to the industry life cycle. And this indicates that there's a direct link between the localization of innovation and the maturity level of particular industries within a given geographic territory. Early stages of an industry life cycle are characterized by the importance of tacit knowledge. Once a product or service has become standardized, and demand will support mass production or mass supply of it, it is easier for an industry to disperse geographically. The natural tendency for innovation activities to agglomerate spatially has significant implications for your organization's strategies. 
location, the geographic locale of your innovation center allows small firms in particular to easily access external resources that augment their internal capabilities. Empirical studies tend to find the most important determinants of regional variations in entrepreneurship are proximity to suppliers and healthy specialized labor markets. So now let's briefly touch upon the concept of knowledge leakage. Larger firms are often the source from which knowledge spillovers emanate. Large firms, they're balancing the potential gains from an abundant supply of skilled labor and other non-pecuniary benefits against the leakage of their ideas. One generally finds that less technologically advanced firms favor locations with high levels of industry innovation, while technologically advanced firms choose geographic locations with high levels of academic activity and avoid locations with industrial activity to distance themselves from competitors. So geography, it provides basically three overarching advantages among the myriad we could mention. Number one is pooling of demands for specialized labor. Second is reducing transportation delivery costs. Third, knowledge spillovers. A lot of research literature suggests that innovation is no longer best analyzed at the level of the firm in isolation from spatial context. Geography provides a platform to organize resources and it provides gains to accelerate your innovative activity. Your organization must account for this when deciding upon the location or locations of your innovation center and your innovation activities.